Hi everyone, it's Bobby, and I'm here to share a new project with you. This is a very detailed project. It's a mini album with a stand and then a roof made to look like a house. So I used Graphic 45's Cottage Life paper to make this, but I got the idea from uh, Cli uh, sorry Anna at Anna's Paper Creations, and she used uh, the Graphic 45 and Eerie Tail to make kind of a haunted house. So up here we have the roof, and that comes off. Try and get everything where you can see it. And then the base has a drawer in it, comes right out, and I just put a bunch of the extra journaling cards and things like that inside. And there's this fence that goes all the way around. And I used my Tim Holtz uh, die to make that. There's the back. And I've got these little windows on here with the shutters. And then on the spine, I've got some ivy. So that it looks like it's growing up the side of the cottage. And more ivy here. And then this light post is attached here to the base. So like I said, that comes out. Here's the base, there's the light post, and then there's roses and some leaves and a key. And then over here there's a gear, oh, and a little piece of paper. And then I've got a little dragonfly, pearls all the way around, more roses and some leaves, and then roses again on this side. So that's the base. And I'm just going to very carefully tip my camera down so that I can show you the book. So here's the book. The front cover has another window with the shutters and some more ivy and then there's a branch up here with little flowers on it and a door that has some acetate in the window and then the cottage life tag and then when we open it up on the inside front cover I just used the signature sheet and cut it down to size. And then I used one of the leftover uh, small journaling cards and I cut out the center, backed it with acetate, and then used that to make a little pocket where I just put some of the stickers. I just backed these on cardstock. This will be a birthday present for my mom. So I won't be able to post this until after her birthday, until after I give it to her. And then here's the first page. I've got a little pocket here and one of the journaling cards. And then that flips up. Oh, I might have to zoom out a bit here. There we go. And then this flips down, place for a photo, and then this also pulls out. And there's a little wishing well back there. And then this beautiful paper here, and that flips up. And in here, I used some of that fence again and some of the journaling cards and I just cut out the center and then backed them on black cardstock to make little frames. And this one I left open behind the flowers so you could tuck something in there. And then the back page, I used some of these clear acetate uh, flowers and leaves and things that I have. And some postage stamps from the paper, and I used that for a tuck spot. And then 
This also flips up like this. And then there's some little spots here for tags. So this first page is pretty complicated. It took a long time, Oops. but the rest of the pages are a little more simple. And then each of the pages is a pocket page. So there's a large photo mat inside. I've got some little toadstools here that I cut out with my cuddle bug. And then a nice branch on the back. I'll put that back in later. So the second page, and again, Anna has some really amazing skills when it comes to designing books because this was all her design. So from here, it looks fairly simple. There's two little tuck spots here with some of these stamps. And then this flips open. And in here, there's a die that I used for a tuck spot and some little tags fit back in there. And then on this side, same thing. But then this is like a puzzle. If I can, there we go. So this flips this way. This one goes over. This one comes down. And this one goes over. And then that allows us to open it up in the center. And then we have this hidden spot inside. So there's pockets on both sides. There's a large tag with another one of those acetate flowers and then another journaling card in there. Same thing on this side. And then in the center, again, I use the fence die and I use that to make a pocket. And here's some of the stickers down at the bottom. And then I cut out a tree with my Cricut and glued that on. And then I have another one of the journaling cards in there. Oops, there. So then to close that back up, we go like this. And then it won't open. So it's kind of locked up. I thought that was a really cool idea. On this side, it's a little more simple. There's a big pocket at the bottom. And in there, I have part of one of the journaling cards. So when I use the frames for other places, cut out the frame, then this is the center of the journaling card. So I just back that on black cardstock and use that. And then a large tag with one of the roses cut out. And then here I have just a little branch. And then in here, like I said, here's one of those frames that I cut out from the journaling cards. And I put one of the rose clusters here. And then I have one of the stickers backed on cardstock. And then this was part of the cut apart sheet. And I just tuck those in there. So you could put a photo or whatever you'd like in there. And then this is one of the die cuts. And in here is a fairly large pocket tag with one of the stickers there and then this flips open and again I have another branch and here I cut out dreamy from the page and then this is one of the die cuts and another one of the frames from the cut apart page and here is this large photo mat This page was fairly simple. Here I really used the toadstools, so I've got a couple of them down here. Here I've got a branch with another toadstool, and then I've got three toadstools on here. And this was one of the journaling cards again, and I cut out the center and put acetate in there. Did I leave that open? I think I did. Yeah, and then you can 
tuck something in behind there or put a photo in there and it's back behind the acetate. And then that flips up and there's a branch here and back behind there's a branch with a bird. And then it flips up one more time. More toadstools as a little tuck spot for a journaling card. And then this side, again, I used the fence for a pocket. So I took a bunch of the little stickers and again backed them on cardstock. And then I can tuck them in there. Here's some more of those clear acetate flowers and some more toadstools or mushrooms. And then this is a pocket that flips open and inside the pocket are a couple more journaling cards or ephemera cards. And then that flips all the way open. See these go in there. And behind it I have a large sheet here with some more of the flower branches. And that flips up. And then up here there's another journaling card cut out. The center is cut out and then there's a tag in there. Another branch. And then down here, there's a large pocket at the bottom. Again, another branch with a little bird. Here's some of the ephemera cards. I think this is actually the same card, just this is the back and this is the front. And those go in the large pocket at the bottom. And then down here, I have a little tuck spot with the toadstools. Again, this is the center of one of those journaling cards that I used for a frame. So then this is held closed by this pocket. And then there's another large photo mat in there. Two branches on this one. Then we went to blue and kind of the cream. So this one is a very simple page. It just has a pocket at the bottom and a little tuck spot here that I uh, made using a sticker backed on cardstock and then this is another sticker that's tucked in there and then in the pocket I've got a little book that I made out of one of the cut aparts and there's a sticker on the back a couple more journaling cards and ephemera cards and then I made a little whoops this way made a little window so there's two layers of acetate, two layers of the window, and then there's a branch and a couple of little birds in there. And then this side is just a bunch of stacked pockets. So down at the bottom we've got, I just cut this out from one of the sheets and made a tuck spot. And then again, this is the center of one of the journaling cards. And then in the smallest pocket, there's some more journaling cards the medium pocket. There's those cards. And then I made a book to put in the pocket at the back. And then here's the large photo mat that goes in there. Again, some more of those toadstools. And on the back, I've got some of the windows just without the shutters on the sides. And the last page, these flaps open on the sides and then flip down and up. And inside, I have another journaling card and another little cut apart. And then this was from the cut apart page too. And then another branch in there. And some stickers on the corners. And then the back cover just has a large pocket in it. Like this with just a great big photo mat inside. And 
again, there's the back of the album. Whoops. So this was a lot of fun to make and it turned out way better than I had ever expected, especially once you put it all together and you have the mini album and the base and the roof and everything all together. I just think it looks amazing and I hope that my mom really likes it when I give it to her for her birthday. So thank you for watching and I just want to say thank you to Anna from Anna's Paper Creations for coming up with such wonderful ideas to inspire us.